In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to repair cracks and holes on your kayak to permanently fix them, and how to add a kayak kill guard up under your kayak that is permanent, it will last a lifetime, and it will protect your kayak from future holes and scratches and gouges and things like that. Stick around. up guys welcome back to the channel and if you're new here my name is TJ welcome to kayak USA if you end up liking today's video make sure you hit that thumbs up button and if you're new like I said subscribe I've got a ton of videos like the one you're gonna see today they're all on my channel go check them out and stick around I've got way more videos like this coming for this year so as I said while ago I want to tell you guys about a new product that's on the market and it is called a gator patch uh, and it's made by gator guards now if you don't know who gator guards is They've been in the big boat industry for a long time, the bass boats, you know, the big ocean boats and stuff, and they sell a thing called the Kill Shield. And I have one right here. I'm actually gonna be putting this Kill Shield on my Skeeter that is behind you guys right now. I'm gonna be putting this on very soon. Uh, but they recently reached out to me and said, hey, we noticed that, uh, you know, we noticed your kayak channel on YouTube and we wanna send you a thing that we have and it's called the Gator Patch. I did some research on this thing, guys, and this, is amazing this is you guys that are gonna love it uh, especially all my kayak fishing guys I get on the I'm on Facebook and I'm on a ton of kayak fishing groups on Facebook and it never fails every single day when I get on Facebook I see someone posting a picture of their kayak where they've got like stress cracks on the inside of their kayak where their seat is they've got a hole in the keel of their kayak where they're dragging it around all the time and they're always asking, how do you fix it? You know, I need to fix this kayak. I've got too much money invested in this kayak. I don't want to sit on it any longer. I don't want to make the cracks worse. What can I do? For a long time, people always said, and I've done it before and it works. Uh, you can, you know, you, when you buy a kayak new, you usually get a piece of plastic that matches your kayak that you can use a heat gun or a torch and you could fix it with heat. Now that is very intimidating to a lot of people even me, I, I, I like to tinker on kayaks a whole lot, as you guys know. And I've patched kayaks by using the flame and the plastic method before. It can be done. But if you mess up, you can really mess up. Like, you, you can ruin your kayak. And I know a lot of us, we invest a lot of time, a lot of money into our kayak rigs, our setups. And by the time we get done, you know, fixing them up, we've got so much time and effort and money. We don't want to ruin them trying to fix them ourselves. So... What this company, what Gator Guards come up with, and I'm gonna link everything in the video description below. So after I go over everything, you guys, you need today in this video, you need to go down, click the link, and go check these guys out. They have some amazing products. They sell them in different sizes. They sell one of these kill patches that will actually go from one end of your kayak to the other. So you can, in theory, do the entire kill guard and you can drag it over rocks, sand, you know, whatever you need to do. So what we're gonna do in today's video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how to use this stuff and it is so easy. Uh, it, after watching a couple of reviews and talking to the, uh, you know, the owner of uh, Gator Guards, it, it's so easy to do and it forms such a good bond on your kayak. It doesn't harden like plastic, it hardens like a rock. When you get done installing this, you can actually sand it down and if you wanted to, you could paint it to match your kayak and you would never even know you had a patch there and it will last a lifetime. It actually bonds with the plastic. So, and it makes the area stronger. So for you guys that have the stress cracks, you know, around your seats on the inside, if you do this and you do it correctly, it will be stronger than it was before you even bought the kayak, you know, when the kayak was brand new. So what I'm gonna do in today's video though, I've got two. And the reason I got two is I'm gonna install one of these as a kill guard. In today's video, I'm gonna put it on the front keel because I've, as you, you'll see in just a minute, I've got a lot of damage to the front of my keel guard because I do a lot of kayak camping and even when I'm kayak fishing, if I see a cool island or something, I like to get off and I'll explore and you know look around. The first thing I do is just grab my kayak by the nose, drag it up on the beach or the sand or, or wherever. It's usually rocks and leaves, you know, I just drag it up. And I've got a lot of wear on my keel. So I'm gonna install one of these gator patches today and show you guys how easy it is to do. The other patch that I have, now this is, this is the part that's really cool and it's gonna make you guys really wanna have one of these. 
is I'm gonna put this in with my kayak fishing box. Now I've got a box I keep put up here at the house and I keep all of my kayak fishing gear, my kayak camping gear and stuff all together. That way if I ever wanna go on a trip or I, you know, I get a wild hair up my butt and say I wanna go kayak camping tonight, all I gotta do is grab my stuff, throw it in the truck and I'm ready to go. This has just made its way into that box. It's lightweight, I can keep it put up, but what you do is, since you have one of these with you, if you've always got one of these on your boat with you for adventures and stuff, if you get out somewhere and you bust a hole in your kayak or you, you bust your seat, something happens and you get a hole in your kayak while you're out on an adventure, you can actually cut this to different sizes, to the, to the size you need, patch it right where you're at. Uh, it doesn't take long to cure. It, it's, it's UV based, so the chemicals in this is, is uh, not UV based. It's activated by sunlight. You know, the UVs from the sun is what actually activates this and makes it form that hard bond with the plastic and seals it. So if I'm out, as you guys know, I do some uh, island camping where we all paddle out to Shell Island off Panama City Beach in Florida and we stay in hammocks and stuff like that. Let's say I'm out there for a few days and I'm camping and something happens and I pop a hole in the bottom of my kayak and I'm by myself. I'm gonna have one of these now. I will literally be able to repair my kayak right on the island where I'm at and be able to make it home safe without having to worry about trying to risk it, you know, with a hole in my kayak to getting back. So, links in the description for these guys. Get you some, keep you, you know, definitely get one for your kill guard. That way you can avoid things like that to happen. But I'm gonna have one with me at all times on all of my kayak adventures now, just in case I'll be able to cut a piece off, use it, and rock on. So. But what we're gonna do now is I'm going to stand my kayak up. Now, I, it would be preferable to flip your kayak over and do it with your kayak upside down. I'm gonna just prop mine up because as you can see, I've built a freaking tank here and it's, it, I'm here by myself and it's really hard to flip it over. I've got my box under my seat permanently mounted and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna prop it up. I'm gonna set you guys up on the best camera angle I can get. Now, forgive me if the camera angle ends up sucking, but I'm gonna set you guys up and I'm gonna show you each step that you have to do in order to put this on, make sure it's done right. Now you wanna make sure this is done right so your final product is you know, a hard rock, rock hard seal you know, and you can sand it and paint it and do whatever. And the instructions come right on the back of the pack. So right here it tells you step by step, you know, uh, surface should be sanded, clean, dry, free of any contaminants. And then it tells you, you know, cut the gator patch to the size you need, put it on, yada, yada. I'm gonna go over all this right now. Let's quit talking about it, let's get to doing it. All right, so I've got it propped up. I hope you guys can see it really well. Uh, I couldn't flip this thing over. I, I really tried after I said I wasn't gonna do it and I tried and without removing everything, I just can't flip it over. It's just too heavy and I don't wanna damage it. But as you can see, I've got a lot of scuffs. I've got a lot of deep gouges. I don't know if you can see these on camera, but there's some pretty deep ones right here. Uh, so we're gonna open this thing up. First, let's see what it says on the back. It says surface should be sanded clean and dry. Uh, cut the gator patch. I'm not going to cut it. This is 3 inches by 18 inches. I'm going to put the full 3 by 18 on here. I'm going to start right here. It looks like my damage is right in here where it starts. All this still looks really good. So obviously I'm never hitting up here when I'm dragging. I'm dragging from here back. So we're going to install it from the damage all the way back. And I'm going to use the full sheet. I'm not even going to cut it. So remove white backing tape apply gator patch, apply patch. Uh, a few things that you will need, and I always use acetone when I clean things, when I'm putting on stickers and stuff, but after talking to the guys over at Gator Guards, sorry if I'm not on frame, uh, they said they recommend only using isopropyl, I hope I said that right, isopropyl, isopropyl, I don't know, alcohol, that. Uh, so I've got some of this. This is what we're going to use. The reason you want to use this and not like acetone or fingernail polish remover and something like that after you sand it to get it clean. Uh, this is the only stuff that really won't leave any kind of residue. Once it's clean, it's clean. You're ready to put your stick, uh, you know, stick your patch on and get it, get it molded where you need it. So this ain't even been opened yet. I'm going to go ahead and open this so it'll be ready. And first thing we're going to do is I've got some sandpaper and a scotch brush. I'm just going to sand it down a little bit, make a mess right here on top of everything. And then we're going to clean it. And just 
want to keep sanding until it's a pretty smooth surface. And even once it's smooth, you do want to sand it. You, you want to make sure that it's kind of a rough area, not smooth. I keep saying smooth, but you want to make sure that it's rough and it's not the slickness. You know, get that top gloss off of the plastic. Man, mine was messed up pretty bad. I didn't realize how bad it was. You guys might want to check the kill of your kayak. I didn't know mine was in this bad a shape. I usually don't see the bottom of it. It's proven if you stick your tongue out, you can work better. And this, this stuff can be curved. So if your kill guard is different and you're wanting to go around that curve, you can curve it. The way you curve it is you just, once we start sticking it on, I'll show you, but you can cut slits on the side. And as you curve it, you just fold them over top of each other. And then once this stuff cures and it's hard, you just sand it down. And if you wanted to get all fancy, you could go get the same color paint as your kayak, paint over it, and you'd have a kill guard that blends in with the bottom of your boat. <clears throat> Boy, I'm getting this stuff everywhere. All right, so now I'm gonna take my Scotch-Brite and I'm just gonna go over it a little bit more. And it's only three inches wide, so I just want to make sure that I'm getting at least three inches of width on this sanding. Well, once you start sanding, you can see how bad your gouges really are, how, how big the deep ones are. But we're fixing to fix all of that. All right. Now, let's go ahead and clean it up. I think that's about as good as I can get it. I'm sure it could be done better. I'm just going to take the isopropyl alcohol. I think I nailed it that time. And we're just going to rub it down. This will dry it out really good. It'll clean it up. You might want to keep, wipe it once or twice until you make sure you're not coming back with anything left on your paper towel or rag or whatever you're using. And whatever you do use, just make sure that it's not got a lot of lint on it that's just gonna contaminate your patch. Like, I'm good. It's coming back really clean. I'm not gonna touch it anymore. Now, let's open this up. Now, I don't, I don't know if I mentioned, I think I did mention, this stuff is cured by UV. So once we get this on, you need to take it outside, set it in the sunlight, make sure the sun can get it or if you've got black lights that put off the UV, you know, you, you know, black lights, they'll put the UV light out. You can put a black light on it for, you know, an hour, make sure it hardens up and seals good. I'm just going to roll mine out after the video and stick it in the sun for the rest of the day. I don't have nothing going on for the rest of the day except for fishing tournaments tonight. I will be filming for you guys. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be on the bass boat. All right. So let's see if I can just, can I just pull it out? Come on. Whew. You can smell whatever the chemical is in it. You might want to have it do it in a ventilated room. There we go. All right, so here is the gator patch. There's the white side, the, uh, and then here's the clear side. And we're just going to, I'm not going to touch it yet. We're just going to stick it on there just like that. Let me read the instructions one more time. Let's see, the first step is surface should be clean. Should be sanded and clean. Ding! We just did that. Uh, cut gator patch any size you want. We just got that. I'm not cutting it. That's the size I want. Remove white backing tape to expose sticky resin. Apply gator patch to repair area with sticky side down. Apply the patch. Then remove the transparent film, the see-through side. 
pressed firmly, exposed to UV or sunlight, curing time depends on UV intensity. So if the sun's out, it says uh, between five minutes if it's really sunny to 60 minutes if it's cloudy. So stick it outside for an hour, you're good to go. Put it on a UV light, an hour, you should be good to go. And, and it does say, the last step, it says, you can drill sand or paint when it's cured. So you can literally drill into this. You know, it's, it's gonna be hard when I get done with this, so. All right, here goes nothing. I feel like I talked a whole lot about doing this in this video. I did it, I was less doing and more talking. We need to do more doing and less talking. All right, so here's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna peel back about that much and I'm gonna try to center it so the camera shot might suck for this part for you, but let's go about right there. I'm gonna press it real firm right there. I kinda wanna make sure the kill stays in the dead center so it's even on both sides. I'm peeling off about an inch at a time. Well, I lied, about three inches on that one. Just try to keep it center. It doesn't look like it's center anymore, but it'll be all right. And I, like I said, I'm using this whole patch. I'm going all the way back because my damage literally goes all the way back to here. All right, got the white backside off and now I'm just gonna push it and like I said, guys, this is the same way you will do it with a crack. You will find your crack, you will sand it, your crack, you'll find your crack and you'll sand it. You'll find the crack or hole in your boat uh, that you want to repair. You'll sand it just like I did, use the alcohol, clean it, cut the size patch you need, and then do exactly what we're doing for the kill guard. So all I'm doing now is I'm going to start rubbing it down. Ooh, it's kind of sticky down there. Just like this. Then I'm gonna work my way from the inside out to try to keep from any bubbles happening. Just like this. Stick your tongue out and it'll do a lot better. And it's also good to get something hard to use to roll it. I don't have nothing right now, but I'll do it after I get most of this stuck. So, because on the curves and stuff, you're going to have them, which, like I said, you can take a razor blade, which I might do here if I can't get these out, but I don't have that drastic of a curve to work around right here because I'm, I'm not running mine all the way up over. We're just going to put it like that. I'm trying to do this and keep my head out of it so you can see what I'm doing, so... If I'm doing a sucky job, that's why. It's not because I suck or nothing. It's because I'm trying to let you guys see the camera. I am filming, right? That would have sucked. I wasn't filming. All right. Same thing back here. I'm just going to work in the middle. Just keep pushing it out, pushing it out. And you could probably use gloves with this too. I feel like the there's something because I know we got to peel this clear off in just a minute, and then I got to roll this thing outside. But oh yeah, I got a big old wrinkle right there. I can't see. Just keep working. It's really moldable too, guys. Like it's. You just want to make sure you get everything really tight. Let me get something hard to push this with. It's a mallet because it's got kind of a curve to it. So I'm just using the curved side of this mallet to push and roll, push and roll. Because it's almost like a putty up under there. Now you want, once you get it all rolled down, you want to go around and get all the edges really good. Now we just need to 
grab this clear side. And you can see the fibers. I don't know if you guys can see it, but see the little hairs and stuff? I mean, this is a legit patch. So, let's see, can you see that? Yeah, y'all can see that pretty good on camera. So, I'm just gonna go around the edges, make sure everything looks good. And as you can see, this is a full skid plate now for my uh, skig. I'm sorry, I keep calling the skig my kill, my kill guard. So now my whole kill is gonna be protected. Now once this gets hard, I'm telling you, it's hard as a rock. You can knock on it. It sounds like you're knocking on a piece of wood or a rock. And once it gets to that point, once it's cured, you can sand these edges down and blend it in with your kayak so you don't really have a lip to catch anything on like, you know, uh, you don't have to worry about drag or anything like that, which this is not gonna cause any drag on your kayak anyway, I don't believe. Uh, but you can, and that's probably what I'll do is I'll just sand it once it's hard, get it smoothed in with my kayak, and then maybe I'll just put some wax or something on it. I don't plan on painting it to match my kayak or nothing like that, because I don't really care what it looks like it's under my kayak. And as long as I know it's there to protect my kayak, I'm good. If I was gonna use this on the deck of my kayak, like around my seat, if I had a crack there, I would probably try to get some touch-up paint after I sanded it and hide it a little bit. But if I'm doing it on my kill guard like this, or as a kill guard like this, I'm not gonna worry about painting it. So now I'm gonna roll this thing outside, let it cure. That's all there is to it, guys. So I think I'm gonna end the video right here because I don't wanna stretch it out. I've showed you guys how to install it. Uh, I've told you how to get it. Links in the video description. Go check out Gator Guards. They've got more than just this too. They've got all kinds of other stuff. I'll link them in the very top link. I'll link them in the very top link. I'm gonna put their link in the top line of this video description. Click it, go check them out. If you're gonna buy one, buy two. Just like I said, it's if you're gonna put one as a kill, like I did, a kill guard, have another one, put it up with your kayak fishing stuff so you have a way to, for an emergency patch, like, I could, you see how big this is. You don't have to buy, if you wanna do your whole thing though, they sell like, I don't know the full length, but it's a roll. And it, you can do one end of your kayak on, to the other if you really wanna you know, protect the whole bottom of your kayak, you could do that. And it would work, like it would work really well forever. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna link them. It's gonna be the top link of the video description. Click it, check it out. If you guys like this video, please make sure you hit that thumbs up. It goes a long way to help support my channel. If you're new and you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. I've got some really cool stuff coming up. I got some bass boat fishing tournaments coming up. I'm gonna be fishing against some bass boats here in another week or two out of my kayak. I'm gonna join a legit bass fishing tournament where these guys fish on bass boats and they all blast off and we have to come back. I'm gonna fish it out of my kayak. We're gonna see how that goes. It would be a sad day if I could get out there and pull up these bass boat guys sitting in a kayak, you know, can't go no further than a mile from the boat launch but all right i'm gonna quit talking if you guys liked it make sure you hit the like button subscribe check out my other videos and i'll catch you guys on the next one